Millions and millions of years ago, Earth was different. So different, in fact, it didn't look like this, anywhere near. All the continents were actually just a giant one, Pangaea, a colossal canvas of land and sea where nature painted its masterpiece, supercontinent and a realm of unimaginable diversity. This is Ethereal Nex and welcome back to another space video. Today we'll be talking about what was Earth like in the time of dinosaurs. So stick around and leave that like and subscribe button. After Earth's birth and before dinosaurs, there was a couple of more periods before dinosaurs. We have the formation of Earth where Earth formed about 4.6 billion years ago. Then Hadean Eon where Earth was a lava planet, it was subjected to intense heat and frequent collisions with other celestial bodies. After that we have Archean Eon period where Earth's surface was cooling and first oceans and continents were born and so on and so on until we get to the Proterozoic Eon period where first multicellular organisms appeared. After that it comes in Cambrian Explosion where rapid diversification of life occurred. First marine life, then plants began colonizing land. And then it happened. Permian-Triassic extinction happened a mass extinction that wiped out about 90% of marine life and 70% of terrestrial life. And boom, we come to Mesozoic era. In this era, dinosaurs emerged. They've been dominating the Earth for millions of years. Its beginning starts about 252 million years ago. The planet was still transforming into today's look. Massive earthquakes, Tsunamis and volcanic eruptions appeared making the planet we know today. Temperatures rose and dropped which caused all the life to adapt. The Mesozoic era itself composes of three different periods, Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous period. Let's first talk about the first era, the Triassic period. It happened 252 million years ago, and it lasted for about 51 million years. In this era, the Earth's tectonic plates began to move, breaking Pangaea and forming continents. The survivors of extinction before the beginning of this era watched as Earth formated. This is where Age of Reptiles began. Archosaurus, a diverse group which, still to this day, are the ancestors of today's crocodiles and alligators. Not only they're in the group of reptiles, they are also a members of a subclass that includes dinosaurs, pterosaurs, the flying reptiles. In about the middle of this period, many species evolved from this group. Birds and crocodiles, as mentioned before. Meanwhile, the marine life got populated by turtles and the first inch thiosaurus appeared roaming the waters also sorted in reptiles group. They've adapted on their environment and the best example is the Symbospondylus. He roamed waters what it will be equivalent to today's Europe and North America's seas and oceans. Their size was about 1.8 meters or 6 feet and ate mostly fish. But then another extinction occurred. Multiple volcanic activities, change on the global ocean level and sudden climate changes lead to another period known as the Jurassic period. The dawn of a new age. The Jurassic period appeared around 201 million years ago. It lasted for about 46 million years, so it ended 145 million years ago. In this period, the supercontinent Pangaea finally split into new land masses separated from one another by seas. In this period also, the first look of the today's continent were formed like South America and Africa. This caused the independent land masses, so most of the planet was warm in the time spent of the period, until around the end of it, where cooling began. Because of the good and warm weather conditions, most tropical plants were formed, like cycas and gymnosperms, like palm trees. 
forest form too. Conifers, for example, are typically, not always, the evergreen trees with needle-like foliage. Pine trees, redwoods, ginkgo trees, and Douglas fir are all types of conifer trees which appeared in this very period. Also, on the land, the first dinosaurs appeared. There were all sorts of them, including the ones in size of today's cats and one in size of today's buildings. Sauropoda dinosaurs, whose members are known as sauropods, are giants. Known for its long necks, long tails and small heads and pillar thick legs. Their enormous size makes them the largest animals to have ever lived on land. This genera includes Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, Apatosaurus, Camarasaurus, and Brontosaurus. The largest of them was Titanosaurus, which were 25 to 30 meters or 82 to 100 feet in length. With them, also, the other species evolved, including mammals, reptiles, and arthropods. The marine life also exploded in new species, such as mollusks, apex predators like pliosaurs, emerged 200 million years ago. They've not been the apex predators in the beginning, but early to the middle of Jurassic period, they reached their apex predator status. Symbospondylus, the large ichthyosaurus, and so on. This period itself left a remarkable history on the ever-evolving narrative of our planet. A new chapter of Mesozoic era began, the Cretaceous period. This period began 145 million years ago and it ended 66 million years ago. So this period lasted the longest, for 79 million years. Still, the Earth was forming its continents. India detached from Africa going for Asia. South America also shifted on its own and what's left was today's Australia and Antarctica. This period was the Age of Giants, where colossal herbivores like Triceratops grazed alongside with the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex. The symbol of Mesozoic Era. Those two were the rulers of terrestrial realm. Across all the continents, dinosaurs evolved into an array of forms like ferocious predators, agile runners, and each and one of them contributed to the symphony of life. Mammals continued to grow, separating themselves into smaller groups. The largest mammal of this period was Repinomamus, measuring 1 meter or 3.2 feet in length. Its appearance is representing today's Tasmanian devils and we're assuming that they've been predators, but newest studies shown that it was scavenger. But the fossils remained uncovering their sharp teeth and sharp claws, which could mean that they've been hunting smaller dinosaurs. Meanwhile, the marine life was dominated by Ichthyosaurus. But shortly after the beginning of this period, their population dropped after the extinction the Turonian boundary event. It lead to sharp decrease of oxygen in the oceans and seas because of underwater volcanic activities. In the end of Cretaceous period, the cooling was much more intense and the creatures must adapt. Around 70 million years ago, Nanooksaurus, or quote-unquote polar bear lizard, were roaming these cool areas. They are relatives of Tyrannosaurus rex, but their size was quite smaller, around 6 meters or 20 feet in length. They lived on north side of the Earth where food was necessary and they've been developing new features. Feathers. It managed to secure warmth and it protected them from northern climate. Unfortunately, this day came. In the twilight of the Cretaceous period, Earth witnessed a celestial event that would forever alter the course of life. A colossal asteroid embarked on a collision course with our once thriving planet. The impact was cataclysmic. The skies darkened, fires raged, tsunamis hit, earthquakes killed. It led to mass extinction of them, and it marked an end of an era. Big, long-lasted era. The meteor's collision marked two things, an end and a beginning. From ashes, Earth would rise again, forming new life, 
But that's the topic for another space video. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. This was Ethereal Next, and today we covered up everything you wanted to know what happened with Earth while dinosaurs were around. What was the Earth like after dinosaurs? And that also is a topic for another video. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and we'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.